My name is Dr. Stephen Bradburn from toptipbio.com and in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use GraphPad to create and interpret an area graph. So what is an area graph? An area graph is a variation of the line graph where quantitative data are plotted, usually over time, and the area beneath the line is filled with either a solid colour or a pattern. Usually, two or more groups are included on an area graph to compare the data between them. An example of an area graph can be shown on screen. Here, the number of new tuberculosis cases are plotted in six different regions between the years 2000 and 2017. So by using the area graph, you can easily see that in Africa, the incidence of tuberculosis increased over time then remain stable. On the other hand, rates in Europe and the Western Pacific have decreased between the years 2000 and 2017. You can also appreciate the difference in rates. For example, the majority of incidents occurred in Southeast Asia compared with the Americas. So why are area graphs useful? Area graphs are useful to easily visualize data over the course of a time period without the need to show exact values at each point. It's also worth noting when area graphs can be quite dangerous to interpret. One downside when area graphs have multiple data sets, like in this example, is that there can be instances where parts of the data are hidden. This is especially true when the colours are solid. For example, it is hard to see what the incidence of for tuberculosis is in Africa in the year 2000, since the data from the Western Pacific is masking this. So just be careful when multiple data sets are plotted. There is a way to resolve this within PRISM, and that is by using semi-transparent colours as your fill colours. And I'll explore that in more detail later on in the video tutorial. So in this video tutorial, I will show you how to create this particular area graph. So let's go into PRISM and begin the tutorial. In the setup window, I'm going to select an XY table and graph. I'm going to enter or import data into a new table. My X values are going to be numbers. And my Y values, I'm going to enter and put a single Y value for each point. I'm going to click the Create button. I'll now just paste in the data that I've prepared earlier. So specifically, this data set is from the World Health Organization database, and it contains the incidence of tuberculosis cases in six regions between the years 2000 and 2017. So the X values are the years, going from 2017 at the top to 2000 at the bottom. And then each group thereafter is a different region. So to create an area graph, you want to now click on the graph on the left hand window. And this will open up the graph wizard. Specifically, for an area graph, you want to ensure the XY graph family is selected. And the option on the right hand side is the area fill option. So this is the area graph. I'm going to click the OK button. Currently, the graph looks very strange, and that's because it needs some formatting. The first thing you may wish to do is to change the colours of the data sets on the area graph. And the easiest way to do this is to use the Change Colours button at the top. This option here is explored in more detail in a separate Quick Tip video tutorial. But for this example, I'm going to open it and select the Colorblind Safe option to change the colours of the area graph. So now the area graph has been recolored. Note that each region has a different colour indicated by their line colours. However, on the graph itself, you can only see Southeast Asia and Africa. And this is because of the way these data sets have been ordered onto the graph. And because solid colours have been used to fill the areas, it is hard to see what is behind each of these data sets. So to change the appearance of the area graph in more detail, you want to click on the Format Graph button at the top, and with the Appearance tab open, you can switch between the data sets by using these buttons here, or by selecting the drop down here. The aspects that you'll be interested in changing on an area graph are usually the connecting line and curve, where you can change the colour, the style, the thickness and the pattern, and the area fill option, where you can actually change the area fill colour of each data set. So as I mentioned, within PRISM, a useful feature is the use of semi-transparent colours. So what I'm going to do with the Africa dataset selected, I'm going to select the fill colour 
and then I'm going to click on more colors and transparency. So this will open up the color palette. And here you can select any color that you wish. The aspect I want to draw your attention to is the transparency option. So currently the color that's been selected is a solid color, i.e. there is no transparency. However, you can use the slider to increase the transparency so you can actually see behind the data set. So what I'm going to do is select the transparency of 70% and click the OK button. And then I'm going to click the Apply button to apply this onto the graph. So now notice the Africa data set is the one in a semi-transparent black and it has this pattern to it. And you can now start to see the data sets that are behind this. If you wish, you can change the fill pattern by clicking on the fill pattern option and changing the design. However, I'm not going to apply a fill pattern in this case, so I'm going to untick this option. And click apply. So now the fill pattern has been removed and it's just a semi-transparent color. So what I'm now going to do is repeat this for my other data sets so we can see all of the data sets on the same graph. So I'm going to toggle to my next data set, which is the Americas data set. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to change the fill color transparency to be 70%. Click apply. So that's the Americas done. And I'm now just going to proceed and change the transparency of each of my data sets to 70%. So I've now changed the area fill of each of my data sets to have a 70% transparency option. So now we can actually see all of the lines and all of the areas for each of the data sets, which is brilliant. Another thing I'd like to point your attention to is the ability to change the order of the data sets on the graph itself. So if you toggle to the data sets on graph tab, and it's here where you can click and drag the order of the data sets, or you can use the buttons on the right to reorder them. Ideally, the order needs to be in ascending order. So i.e. the data set with the largest values needs to be at the bottom, and the data sets with the smallest values needs to be at the top. However, it is often hard to depict which data sets are the largest and which are the smallest. So this is where the transparency fill color option in PRISM comes in handy. But where possible, I advise to order the data sets in ascending order. So if I do this for this data set, I know that Southeast Asia needs to be at the bottom, followed by Africa, then Western Pacific, then Eastern Mediterranean, Europe and Americas. I'm going to click the apply button. So that's just a subtle change where the data sets are now in ascending order. I'm just going to toggle back now to the appearance tab. And then the last few things you may wish to alter on the graph is you could introduce a right y-axis if the data sets are measured on different scales. And also you need to show the figure legend in this case because the reader needs to know which color represents which group. And to depict the legend, which is just off the right hand side of the screen, it can either be the line or the long line. And I'm just gonna leave the line selected. And then I'm going to click the OK button to return to the graph. So now we can actually see all of our data sets on the graph at the same time, which is perfect. However, there's a few other things I'd like to tweak on this graph before I finish off. For example, the X axis needs some adjusting. So you'll notice that there's a lot of white space to the left hand side and the right hand side. So I want the X axis to start at the year 1999 and end at the year 2018 as this will leave an equal space either side of the graph. Another thing I'd like to do is to adjust the y-axis so that every million value is plotted on the axis instead of every other million value. So to format the axes on the graph itself, you want to click on the Format Axes button at the top. And I'm going to toggle to the x-axis tab to adjust the x-axis first. And then usually GraphPad automatically determines the range and interval of the axes for your graph. But in this case, I'm gonna untick this option. I'm going to change the start year to 1999 and my maximum or my end year 
to be 2018. And then what I'm also going to do is change the major tick interval to 3. And this means every third year will be labelled. And I'm going to start this at the year 2000. I'm going to click the apply button. So notice now that that white space has been removed either side of the graph. So it's making good use of that x axis. Additionally, to change the y axis, you can toggle to the left y axis tab. Again, I'm going to untick the automatically determine the range and interval. And I'm going to change the major tick interval to be every million. And the number format is going to be scientific. I'm going to click apply. So now every million value has been plotted on the y axis. And this is useful because a lot of my data sets at the bottom were quite far away from this 2 million mark. So now we have that 1 million mark, it gives the reader a bit more help as to what these values represent. So I'm going to click the OK button to return back to the graph. And then finally, I'm going to give the Y axis a title. And I'm going to call this number of tuberculosis cases. And I'm also going to give the graph itself a title and call this tuberculosis incidence. So that wraps up the area graph. So in this video tutorial, you've learned about creating an area graph in PRISM. And you understand that an area graph is a variation of the line graph where the area beneath the line is filled, usually with a colour or a pattern. They are very useful to visualise trends over time without the need to convey specific data values.